subject. Hey, good morning to you guys. What is up? Hey guys, today is a new day. I hope you guys are having a great day. Working towards your goals, being productive, and absolutely <laughs> freaking crushing it. Oh man, is that ever exciting? I get to pick a new thing every day. How long until it's a ball peen hammer? This is my favorite kind of hammer, guys. Mm, man, I love ball peen hammers. Freaking, you know what? I just had an idea. Cadwallader was mentioned. He was mentioning he made some like copper hammers. I think he said. What if there was a copper ball peen hammer? I think I need to make one of those. That would be. Dope. That means I need some like copper round stuff. That is completely off topic. What is up guys? Today is a new day and I already made the intro so I don't need to say that but I've got this screen made and then I've got this screen, this screen, and that screen is completely done. So just like I made the other t-shirts before, I'm gonna be making a new line of t-shirts. They will be out in less than a week, Friday the, Friday the 13th. That logo with some real dope lettering on the back. Gotta make actually two more screens because the four are just for the front of the shirt where that logo is going on because it's four different colors. Now, one thing that I did, one thing that I did forget to get while I was going uh, to the art store, you might've saw it in the other video, but I did get the, the screen and then I got some more screen filler and I got some white ink. I've got all of these colors of ink right here and then that one and a pink and a gold. So those are the colors of ink that I have. I should be able to make my gray out of those. I should be able to make my pink out of those or well this is even actually that's the perfect color. That's perfect. So I got my pink there and then the blue for the water is right here and I think that leaves me off with I need a black to outline it. So I've got the black. So I'm good in all of those respects but I did forget to get photo emulsion gel. I have screen filler which I bought which is if I actually paint it on by hand, which I might have to do, but what I would what I would love to do is use photo emulsion gel because then I could just make that the size that I need it, photocopy it, and then cut each layer like out of a different color, cut it out of vinyl, lay it on these screens, paint this stuff over the whole thing, blast it with light, and it'll harden everywhere that the light actually hits it. So I think that's what we're doing right now. Dad just got home, so I think that's where we're going right now. Let's go, let's get the heck out of here. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna turn that off, turn that off. All right, guys, we were in the truck, we're going to London right now. We gotta grab that photo emulsion gel from Curry's because I forgot I forgot that I even needed it while I was there last time. We were just leaving London and I was like, crap, I could really use that. And so that's what we're going to get, is that. Shorts. It's And dad just needs some shorts for riding a bike. And I don't know, these shorts, they don't really go very well on a bike and they don't really go well anywhere else. They're just too hot in the summer and so those American Eagle like cut off sweatpant shorts that I have There's a one green pair Absolutely perfect for biking you could zip up the pocket your phone won't fall out And it's just they're nice and comfy for biking and then they cool down real easy That's what we're gonna go get is a couple more pairs one for dad a couple for dad I don't know but maybe another pair for me who knows but we're on our way to American Eagle and Curry's art stir out of there not cheaply though I ended up getting three more yards of that screen mesh just because I know that I'm gonna make more t-shirts in the future so it, it'll just save me a trip here and then I got two giant jugs of photo emulsion gel because it only lasts for four weeks and the lady in there didn't really know like the, the area that it would cover and I said if I have six screens that are 8 by 10 what you know what am I looking at there like how many of those would it 
like be able to do with that and she said well maybe four you might be able to stretch it to six so I just got two containers just in case it's not enough but if it is enough I've got an entire other set of everything that I need next time I make a t-shirt design I don't have to make another trip up here which is gonna definitely make it a lot easier for me because right now I don't have the car so you know I have to I have to ask somebody to come and bring me up here and it does take an entire day to do that so having the material on hand is a, a good idea so now I've got some photo emulsion gel and I've got extra mesh just in case We are on our way down to American Eagle right now in the mall and we're going to get some new shorts for dad so he doesn't look like a goon riding a bike. <laughs> I'm going to get some new shorts too possibly because I wear them so often that they don't get a chance to be washed. I've got a week and a half's worth of days that I've worn those shorts and they don't smell very good anymore. They stand up all by themselves. Mm -hmm. We're going to go in there. I'm not going to film with the big camera because it's a big mall and we've got to get some clothes. I'm just going to you know, post something on my Snapchat story so if you haven't, Follow me on Snapchat. Uh, what do you think, red or blue? Ooh, we are back in the truck now, let's go. If you saw the, well you did, cause never mind. let's go. We got all the stuff we need. Bring it. Okay guys, so uh, right now what am I gonna do? I'm gonna finish making those screens. Not making them, like, yeah, I guess making them. This extra little bit needs to come off. I don't even know if you guys can see that. Oh hey, check that out. Thank you to our number one Patreon supporters, Randy and Robin Bird. You guys are awesome. Thank you for everything that you guys have done. And don't forget, if anyone else wants to help support what we do here on this channel and my DIY channel, there will be a Patreon link in the description below. Click on that and it'll tell you all about it on Patreon, exactly what it does and how it helps me out. That is the four color screen printing press. It, all the screens fit in it perfect. I am more than happy about this. And I've got all the, uh, the points marked so that like they have crosshairs. So it'll be easy to line them all up. And the, the print itself is gonna be four different colors. So I have to break it down into four different layers. And then the vinyl is gonna go on here but they're all gonna come out of the same like four by eight picture. So I'm gonna have to draw it somehow, get it on a computer, print it four times, and then cut out each specific color where it's going to be, and then lay that four by eight sheet on there, or somehow pull it apart on a computer program. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna make each layer. So all these crosshairs that are on here that you might not have been able to see, they are on each and every one of these now. And they line up with the crosshairs that are on this platform. Eight and a half by 11 print goes right in here and the corners would touch there. So that's how I kind of figured out the crosshairs being where they were. So I've got those four screens and those four are going to be for the actual brain and the bucket splashing water four different colors and then on the back of the shirt I want to have a saying and I want it to say the brain bucket sloshy now I don't know if all the shirts are gonna have that or whether there's gonna be more than one option whether you want just the one that has the the brain bucket on the front or one that has the saying on the back or like you know what I mean like because obviously I'm going to need two more screens for the saying on the back and so that's twice as much work per shirt and twice as much ink so I don't know whether I'm gonna have two different designs two different price points maybe one price point maybe just a bigger bucket on a different one which would be for more screens and that's kind of the idea behind getting that extra silt was so that I could actually expand if I needed to and actually make more designs without having to go all the way up to London. 
All right, guys, I am right now drawing the actual brain, but to scale, you can't see it, holy crap. I'm drawing the brain, but I'm doing it to scale, so this is the actual size that it's gonna go on the t-shirt. It's about the size of my hand. It's gonna be right there. It's gonna be pretty cool. I'm gonna do that right now. Yeah. All right, guys, it has come that time of day where the video is over. I had a bloody nose, and there is some blood on my shirt. Unfortunately, it'll wash out. It's all good. Guys, this is the end of the video. I'm really sorry if it was super short, and unfortunately, some videos are going to have to be that way, especially when you're spending your entire day trying to make new T-shirts so that you can go on a trip. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys are new, please subscribe. If you guys are already subscribed, please share this video with a friend. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. See you guys all next time. Peace out.